Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, first of all, I'd just like to thank everyone and just show some appreciation for all the comments and likes that I'm getting and views. It really supports me. It really, it does more than you know. Let's just leave it as that. Thank you so much. And let's get on with it. So, I have had a few comments about getting this done. Now, I did make a thing under here to travel over there and get that sorted but there were suggestions to make power up here and I was thinking the exact same thing because if we make power up here we can connect it to under here as well and it can help power us and chaos because this area here we're going to put more stuff here and I'm testing something out as well I'm raising uh, the water here to see how that works it goes up and down. That's weird, isn't it? And it goes down. It's like it lets too way too much out and then it refills back up. Okay, <laughs> Whoa, whatever. Anyways, so um, yeah, so down here we're going to have um, mechanical pumps. Re reusing the water that's going to be stored up here. Once we get a nice flow of that not going all the way down. So we will need more power. I, I am in total agreement. Now there were suggestions to put water wheels here, which is a good idea. But what is this flow like? I was thinking maybe around here because the flow looks a bit faster before it breaks off. How much power does this actually need? 600. So yeah, three water wheels would be Absolutely perfect. And maybe four for symmetry. Okay, let, let's see what we can do here. So on today's list is sort out the power for this. Get some water food going here somehow. That seems to have risen quite a bit. Or is that just me? And um, get maples, maple trees, more maple trees so we can make maple syrup because we're running out of pastries. So let's take a look at this. How are we going to put power here? How does that look? It may need to be blown up a little bit. So we could start it there. So I know what I'm working with. There and there. So like that. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, Pretty happy with that. Now we do get extra power out of that, which is an added bonus. First, we need to get up here to blow this area up. And we can, oh, can we do that there? I don't think they can come here. Of course they can. Of course they can. If we just do this, this, and this number. We can start deleting the trees up here. Um, and we can get up here to start arranging this area. Okay, so I've put four water wheels here. But they're just not getting the flow that they need. Now they're, they're doing around 60 to 50, 50 to 60 horsepower. So these two are doing 114 and these two are doing 115. So I'm going to get about 220 from them. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Now, how can I increase the flow? I did just blow up a uh, piece of land here. And the flow, I think, went worse. <laughs> but I, I feel like I need to make this come out faster. So I, I feel like I need to get this in a bit more of a narrow, narrower space like that they can't get over there at the moment and I think I, I might need to blow this so it pulls through faster let's try that but then it's going to go into here would it be better if I did in a single line I wonder if that would be better Let's um, let's put this and let's see how that goes. So what we do? Get that there. 
and we'll get stairs going down. Why not? But it might be it might be a bit better if I just have a line a row of one. That might give it enough force to be hitting like at least ninety. If I have three nineties, what's that? If that is twenty seven, two hundred and seventy. It's not gonna be much difference though. We'll see how this goes. Okay. With that done. Oh. <laughs> we went into a drought. I was thinking we went even worse. Okay, we're in a drought. We're in a, a six day drought. So while that is doing its thing, we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna start preparing for underwater food. That should be a decent enough height. And start making a maple town as well. Well not maple town, but somewhere to get um somewhere to get some maple syrup. So let's think about this area. We want to destroy a lot of this. I want to flatten all of this um, and bring it all to this, this level here. That way we can get a farm done. Let's just see. Let's just see if this is a, the right height. So if we get an aquatic farmhouse, oh, that's too small or too big. Okay, it can go there. Okay, let's get, let's get that done. Okay, now that's done. Let's see if they can plant in here. Now we're just going to use that. Are they going to go? Oh, of course it's gone to night time. Of course they have to go to bed first. But if that is the case then, then I think we'll get maybe two or three of them along here. And we'll try and go up to here at least. We also need to get another pathway down here. So we need to get some metal platforms and some way to get around here because the pathing is going to get really terrible. Look, it's already getting red. Ah, oh, yes. They are farming, guys. They are farming. So, you know what that means. That means it's time for some beaver landscaping. Now, I've pretty much got all of the dynamite done apart from here. So let's get these last two bits down. We're going into a, another drought as per usual. So we're gonna open up this area and I don't wanna open up this area because I'm liking the wheat there. I'm really liking the wheat there. We still need to blow up this bit, but I gotta be careful. In fact, it might be best to do it while we're in a drought to be completely honest with you guys. It might be better to do it in a drought because we do have to be careful that we don't um, blow up this and the water comes into here. That'll take a while to come out or it might just fall off the edge. Don't know, but we've got this. So let's, uh, let's start the fun. Look at that. Look at that. I blow up this bit and we'll blow up. Um, kind of want to get one here. And kind of want to get some here as well, to be honest with you guys. We need to get that bit done. In fact, don't need to get that bit done. Because here would be another. Would there be another farmhouse there? I might put the farmhouse a bit further down actually. So actually we will block that area. Because it will be better to put the farmhouse uh, lower down. So they have a wider coverage of space. All right, let's get this done and let's get the farmhouses down. Okay, so now that it's all put in, we need to see what do you want to grow the most of? And we need to put beehives because beehives can be flooded. I'm not sure if it actually affects um, these plants, but I know if they're flooded, they still work. So that is a thing. 
Let's pull it. Let, why not? You know what? Why not? Now, what are we going to be making? We can make the cattail, or we can make spad spadadoc, or we can make both. What is the best solution? So what is that one at the bottom of the grill? Which is pretty decent. It's, I think it's um, faster than potatoes. Yeah, it looks faster than potatoes. What is that one though? That is the spatter dock. Okay, okay, so we can use that in the grill. And here, we can make cattail flour for cattail crackers, I believe. So, oh, a grit smell. We've got some grit smells over there that we're not using so much. So we could turn them on. Let's make more of the spatter dock and a few of the cat cells. So let's just grab all that in there. Like that. I actually want to change this to um, spatter dock so it's all in one place. Uh, let's just get rid of all of that. No point keeping it. A little bit more over here and then we'll make cat's tail over here. We missed a spot. Can't be missing spots now, can we? I like that. And there you have our water food production. Now it would be nice if we can get some metal platforms out here. So we may have to delete some here. But why do you think about that? I've started with the power over here. I think I'm going to have to put two more. I really think I'm going to have to put two more. Um, yeah, that's going to be a thing. So let's get rid of that. Let's do that, that, and that. So we can get down here. In fact, we don't need this one. We need that. And then we will delete these trees and blow up this line here. We also will put some levees just to make sure it doesn't overflow. It shouldn't overflow, it should be fine. So let's get them on that. Cool. And while they're doing that, we can go and look over here. All right, so I could put a metal platform right here. And they could get to that from here. That would be absolutely amazing. And we could get one here. Because why not? Just need to give them a way to get there. And then can we put one here? It will make it go down quite a bit, but I'm okay with that. I think it's like one or two levels, which is not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. So to get here, we would need something like this here. Yep. Like that. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I don't really want to delete one of these trees, <laughs> but I may have to. What is it, the chestnut tree? We don't get many chestnuts as well. We've got, we've got a few good chestnuts, but definitely not enough. Hmm. I still may have to do it though. And how would we get across? We could use this bad boy. There. We could also get across here actually. And that would be pretty cool. 
And then we get this up. And then I think we can go up. What is it? So I think that's perfect actually. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay, so I've started something like this. So I've blew this down a bit because having them one higher just caused problems. Might as well have them same level. That's fine. I've made a little bench area up here so they can sit and see the sunset because who doesn't want to sit and see the sunset? And now they can get through here, down here, down here. Now let's see if that actually increases the range because we're red here at the moment. We want to make that not red, <laughs> theoretically. We want to make it as green as possible. So we'll see when that gets built, how that affects the pathing. Now, this is slowly getting done. How are we going to connect this up? Hmm. Now that is a question, isn't it? And should I put another two? <laughs> now, it is going to connect to our main power. So I'm not too worried. It will eventually get enough power. It will have enough power. But do I want to add more? If I add more, what would that do? Can I add more? I can add two more like that. Now that's going straight into that. So I don't know how that will affect the water flow. So yeah, they're, they're about 60 each, 60 horsepower each, which is not good. <laughs> they should be doing at least 90 and then some more. But we'll figure it out. So we're going to connect the power here. Let's um, bring this down. Oops, I'm doing that's the wrong thing. They need to be working. So we need to get the power from, go up a bit more, here. To come down here and connect into there. Now I do have this here, which I did want to keep, but we'll have to go for that. You can find another way to put it there. Let's get that going. Let's get that going like that. That going and... There we go. So we're going to connect that together and then connect it to here. And finally, going to have this statue working. And just like that, we are all done. But I can be a bit concerned. This is going really slow. I don't think I have enough pressure here. And this is just not working at all. So maybe I need to blow up this bit here to let water flow a lot better because the water flow is absolutely terrible. <laughs> absolutely terrible. Um, look how slow that is. This is going a lot faster. We've got our food done. This, um, putting this here, didn't really change it too much. It made it a little bit lighter. So that is always a plus. But, 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 we have this bad boy up and running. It's working. Let's just hear that again. <laughs> I love that sound. So that means everyone is getting tribute of ingenuity, which gives them, I think it's um, life expectancy. But we do need to work on labor monument and flames of progress. Apparently not everyone's getting that. So maybe that's a thing that we need to look at a bit later on. But I did want to do the maple, maple trees and get some more maple syrup. But unfortunately I've run out of time. So in the next episode, I have decided where I'm going to put the maple. All I'm going to do is pretty much extend this forest area here. So we're going to blow up all of this and extend this backwards and hopefully that would be okay and we're going to try and figure this out make this work a bit better and 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 we need to make another cooking station like this but with more grills and more bakeries and i'm mostly going to make that here so that's what we're going to do in the next episode and that means food and power should all be sorted we'll then need to work on the mechanical pumps that are going to go here and make unlimited power for the droughts. 
but that would be, be, I think we're coming close to the end. I think we're coming close to the end. I think near the end, we just need to make a better housing district over here or somewhere and see how many beavers can survive this madhouse. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every view I get and every comment and every like, and I hope all have an amazing day. Peace.